Hi, this is Kairos Insight video tutorials, explaining features that can help creating unique visual experiences. Kairos offers software-defined architecture to power the world of creativity. Complex designs can be created with the freedom to add various effects to single layers, FX inputs or even AUX buses. Let's get a demonstration together with Helge, our Kairos product specialist. Helge, what are the different categories of inputting effects in Kairos? Yeah, we can follow several strategies on that, um, starting um, with my scene actually. And you see on my multiviewer the objects what I'm using for the next composite. So you see on my main, you see the clip player one to be the cross point on that. And I will use an effects input as well to rebrand a uh, cross point. I will use an Oxbus later on to put another graphic um, to brand or to sponsorship an output on Kairos. All, they will have all the same visually the same result, but um, they all worked on different uh, types and objects. Now saying in my scene, layer number one over here, um, I will go in saying I want to put in my Panasonic eSports as a logo. So I use that cross point over here saying I want to pick my source up, go into my stills, fill in key, hit the Panasonic and turn the logo on. So. This is the composite, as you see in my main out. So let's say I want to crop this off um, a little. So I'm going to my crop workspace over here, crop off the eSport stuff. And then I will enable my transforms as well. And then I want to change the size and position just a little. Uh, let's say I want to put this in the upper left corner somewhere. Good enough. Now, going to my branding effect over here, um, following almost the same concept, my effects branding, what I'm using here in my multi-view over here, is, uses black source as a background. I want to change that into be my clip layer instead. Clip layer number one, so it appears in here. Um, see effects branding, and this effects branding now should have um, also an overlay. And this overlay uses by default black as a source, so I will change the black into be my still, and it should also use the Panasonic still instead, using that fill-in key over here and use Panasonic, put this on and then enable my effect so it appears in 50% size. So from here on, say I want to push this in the upper left corner, make it somewhat equal the same um, over here, something like that. And I want to crop the bottom off, crop the bottom off, too much, like that. Almost the same result. Now in my AUX bus, I will do the same thing, saying in AUX number three, which is using effects branding at this moment, but I want to use instead the clip layer. Now set the source to be the clip layer instead only. So you see it's isolating the clip layer only, but even my AUX bus, I have the same ability saying I want to add another effect, another overlay, but here I want to use instead the Kairos logo. So in my stills, fill in key using the logo event which makes it different. So I'm putting another cross point in there and now um, do the same things in here. So I crop off the top in this case, crop the top off, make the size somewhat 100% over here and reposition somewhere over here. Now I still can tell the system, you know what? I disable this for a second over here and then I select as a background the branded cross point if I want to. And in the branded cross point, it's not only that I can do on the effects input, um, use overlays. I can do chroma keys. I can do lookup table corrections, YOV corrections. Let's say I want to do the effects branding itself. I want to do black and white as an appearance. So I'm going to my YOV corrections. Say so I want to enable the YOV correction and just take the situation out to make this appear black and white. Or I want to tint this um, and make it default again. And I want to change the UV rotation and make it a different color. Um, add some more saturation to that. Doesn't make it more even nicer, but you, you can see the difference. Reset. So I can mix and match all of these different elements. Also corner panning, resizing it, the entire image, and add even more effects to it. Um, defocusing, swirling, leave the color, make a virtual PTZ set out of it. So all of this can composite it straight on a virtual input. So I will disable this here for now and go into my AUX bus again. And then 
in my AUX bus as a background signal. I don't want to use the clip player anymore. I want to use the effects input, the one which I just composited. So this one over here in the composite use the effects branding. And then you're going to see that I have the Panasonic logo in. And on top of the AUX bus 3, I will also put the other overlay on, which is the Kairos and put another branding. So this is all independent from what you have seen on main. But even though on main, just as another result, so I turn the layer off over here and go to my background. You see my effects cross point sitting here. So I can use also the effects cross point to be a cross point within the switcher. Great. Thank you very much, Helga. You're welcome. See you in the next episode of Inside Kairos Video Tutorials. Yeah.